The challenge that we of the firefighting and prevention branches of the department are constantly asked to meet is one of keeping this damage to a minimum. There are various ways of accomplishing this, education of the public, adequate equipment, and so on. But most important of all is the time and effort we devote to the training of our firemen. The fireman is put through an intensive program of training that is just as carefully scientific in its way as the business of crime detection and prevention is in its own field. Once the rookie becomes a fireman, there are chances of promotion all along the line for the intelligent and ambitious. And for those who have talent, there are other branches, such as the arson squad. We keep a careful record of the boys in the department, and when an opening for promotion comes along, but perhaps I can best illustrate my point by telling you about a young fellow named Joe Mark. It begins with a half million dollar fire in the wholesale district of Los Angeles. One of the buildings involved housed a wholesale fur company owned by a man named Payson, who claimed insurance on $50,000 worth of destroyed mink pelts. Joe Martin is the young fireman whose courage and ingenuity in bringing out those half-destroyed animal skins gave us the first clue that this fire was not as accidental as we had at first supposed. We learned later that these furs were rabbit and muskrat, two types of fur that were not on the inventory that Payson presented to the insurance company. One of the best men on the garrison detail was sent on the job, a man by the name of Bob Halloran. He was on the job hardly an hour, when he met with an accident that proved fatal to him. And we would have considered it as merely accidental had not the portfolio, which was as much a part of Bob as his right arm,